All right, so we're gonna get started on this. Uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, kids toy box build. So what you're gonna need: some miscellaneous tools, screws, screws, miscellaneous hand tools, assorted pieces of lumber. We got some one by sixes, one by eight, different stuff. This is just cut off pieces. The big stuff behind me. You're gonna need a design. You're gonna need materials. Checklist. Go to the store. Buy the stuff. You're going to need some drills, drill bits. You're going to need drill bits, drills. Uh, these are Craig bits. Screws that catch the two pieces together. Square clamps, big clamps, little clamps. Old school plane, old school router. You're going to need some paint brushes or sponges to uh, put the stain on and the finish on. Towels, throw, throw away towels for cleanup. Some drill bits. Sanding, sort, sorted uh, sanding stuff, sanding tool, sanding tool, okay, you're going to need beverages of some sort, more sanding items, tape measure for sure, some type of scratch all tool, glasses if you need them, oh, yep, candy, snacks if you need those, and a nice big table, and it does make a mess, as you can see, this is a little bit from the first cut off pieces I had. You're going to need a shop vac and some other assorted tools, some kind of a table saw or cutoff saw. And that's it for now. Bye bye. All right, little demo. Well, not demo, a little talk. Cordless drill. Uh, square bit shank bit goes into these uh, Craig screws. They have a washer built in at the end, you drill your hole with this fancy bit with the tapered end on it you set this thing on this uh, other tool over here set your depth put that in there you pick your wood thicknesses and you adjust this collar slides this up and down to your depth and then uh, you also set your depth over here on the thickness of your wood you're drilling into you mount your piece of wood in there like that. You got all the things set. You put your drill bit in the hole. Drill down through like that. Pull it out. Drill this side down through there. Pull it out. What you get is two tapered holes like this. And then you take the screw, put the screw in the hole. Drill bit in the end, drill it down through, goes all the way down into like, like that. The flathead washer hits the end of the hole where it's flat, pulls the two pieces together tight, makes it flat. Nice flat, smooth joint, 90 degrees square. You can do that style joint. You can put your boards together like this at 90 degrees this direction. Just a scrap piece just showing you. Super, super strong joint, super quick. Should glue them as well, but that's the Craig, Craig joint products. Craig, get you some. Bye-bye. There we go. Demo. Try and do this one hand. It's going to be tough. Put your screw in there. Tightens up the joint. Go to the next one. See where I'm at right there. That in there. One hand it upside down and back. There you go. Joints done. Thick. Solid. Good to go. That's what we did on the toy box. A whole bunch of them, but I designed it so they're all hidden and you can't see them except for on the bottom. There's a few. Bye bye. Alright, it's build time. Got the tools out, got stuff ready. And you got your plans, you got all your stuff, got your tools, got everything rock and roll. We're gonna whip this bugger up fast. I've been talking fast. Here, just set the camera over here in the tripod so you can watch everything that goes on here, big fella. Hang on, big fella. There you go. Alright. Cut that board. 27.6245 feet. Oop, cut it again. Ah, cut her twice till it's too short. Clown of a gun. Anyhow, right. got that done. Cut 
that board off of there. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Beverage time, beverage time, a little beverage time. Alright, get rid of the garbage. Throw the garbage out. Over here. Turn them up, cut them up. Get your drill. Drill them together. Sliver. There we go. Keep it going. Keep it going. Get her over here. Want to cut that one too long, too? Huh. Jeez. Tap it in there. Make sure it's tight. Throw that up. There you go. Oh, yeah. My name is Inga. I am from Sweden. That's where the wood is from for toy box, don't you know? Number two and better crown. One by four, eight foot. S for S. Anyhow, yeah, we like our beverages in Sweden. All right, next day, switched her out. I uh, forgot the heck we're at. Yeah, we were cutting and sawing and tweaking and pounding and plans and uh, get rid of the old beverages, cleaned up, and we're ready to go again. Everything up the side. Let's go. That tape measure up, but got that one over there. Eight, uh, 867 inches and 27.642 microns. Let's go. Cut it. All right. Got her. There we go. Got some holes in that. All right. There over here. Pound her together. Got those ten pieces together now. Clean up. Uh, Twenty hours later, and it's done. It is totally done. Do you believe that? It's done. I'll show it to you in the next video. Bye bye. Okay, here it is, a uh, toy box I made, all out of pine, 1x8s, 1x6s, and 1x4s. Uh, 3 feet long, about 22 inches tall, and about 22 inches deep. And I went around the whole thing with a router, quarter round, all corners, and then sanded everything real lightly, just going to be for a little bugger, and I don't want to get slivers. Inside, so the lid put some uh, support beams across there. They're screwed in. Got three of those on top across the lid hinges, and then I got these Suja Sugastoon 
closers, both sides, and they lock the lid in, and then basically uh, pull it, let her go, soft closing. It's a cool part, the little dude don't get spinners in there either. Picks up a little heavy, but again, then when you uh, put it up, it locks. I set it up to be about 90 degrees from uh, ver or vertical, basically. Opens up from flat to 90 degrees, straight vertical. And here we go. Push it down again. That's all on its own right there. That's all. Pretty slick. These are the hinges I got. Sugastoon adjustable lid support hinge. And they are NSDK. Twenty RK and left and a right. And if you go on their website you can get their Download instructions. Yeah, if you want, I can take and show you out here. What kinds of cautions, precautions, and then you got the uh, piano hinge mounting style and concealed hinge mounting style. And there's different dimensions from the back of the cabinet to the center of the hinge, the back of the cabinet to where the arm would mount when the door is closed. And I just basically took and ran some conversion factors on these different distances and numbers. Got a midpoint where it's about 90 degrees open and close and works pretty cool. But now we're going to stain it. Light stain, natural, and then uh, polyurethane. Here's the back part. The hinges are recessed in. Uh, they are countersunk into the box and then countersunk into the lid so that when it closes it's it's totally flush both sides left and right that's a cool little project turned out good uh, got a few joints that are starting to open a little bit because of the the uh, humidity levels but The Sugastoon hinges are pretty slick. I like them. Pretty cool. I don't know the weight of the actual lid, but I say it's, two, it's 22 inches across, three feet wide, with the three one by four little support plates. And as soon as you pull on the hinge, they start to collapse. It's down on its own. Pretty cool. Alright, here it is the day after. Got the stain on it. Natural stain. Looks good. The old toy box. So we used uh, Minlet wood finish, penetrating stain, natural finish. Still smells in here. <clears throat> like that so front side of the toy box up on the workbench here and down here we got the lid all good to go so today back over here I'm going to be getting the uh, Helsman Indoor Outdoor Spar European Water Based. I'm going to try that. See what she looks like. Put a coat of this on, let it dry, lightly sand it. Put another, uh, then uh, wipe it down, put another coat of this on, lightly sand it. Wipe it down, and then a third coat. I think we're going to go for three coats. Get a nice thick finish. Alright, there we go. It's got. Uh 
couple coat one coat of stain and then uh, we did three coats on the inside and three coats on the outside of this polyurethane Helsman indoor outdoor spar urethane water base I don't know if I'm a big fan of it yet or not, but it's got a nice finish to it. We'll just see how well it holds up. And then over here in the toy box, it's got, like I say, three coats on the outside. Sanded in between with 220 real lightly. And then three coats on the inside. Sanded lightly between each coat. Nice and smooth. It's got a nice color to it. Real rich color. So... There it is. The old toy box. Pretty cool. We'll put the hinges on tonight and the lid back on and put the, what do you call it, uh, hinges, the slow, slow close, closing hinges. Okay, toy chest is done. They say it's got the one coat of stain, natural. Three coats of the finish, and I got the nice new handles on the sides over there. Looks pretty cool. Got some handles over here on this side over here. Pretty cool. And if you flip it open here, inside got your Shoshone, Shoshun hinge, whatever they call it. Easy closing hinge. Regular stamped metal black hinges. The Shoshone hinge. That's the inside of the box, and then if you go like this here, and you grab the top and you pull it just a little bit, and let go, and here she goes. Keeps your fingers from getting smooshed in there. Look at that bad boy. Cool stuff, huh? Custom made toy box. Three feet long, 22 inches high, 22 inches wide, custom metal brackets, custom metal handles, and Shoshone, Shoshone, easy clothes hinges. Go get you one. Build it up. Fill it up with toys.